It's hard to imagine that in America alone, there are currently 18,600,000 homes standing vacant. And the number of warehouses, factories, hotels and other buildings with nothing on the inside is hard to comprehend. Nature has been allowed to take its course with these derelict and abandoned buildings from around the world. Ramu Prison, Estonia Hunting through ruins is usually accompanied by the sound of crunching rubble underfoot. But the Ramu Prison, located in a limestone quarry near Tallinn, is completely different. Here, it's more likely that a visit to this abandoned prison would be accompanied by the sound of splashing. In the late 1940s, the Soviets built Ramu as a mining labor camp and prison. The prison complex included the main prison surrounded by eight watchtowers around the perimeter. Then there were two smaller prisons. One of these is completely submerged, and visiting it requires a boat or a good swimming stroke. It is a popular destination in the summer for swimming. Explorers can clamber from floor to floor exploring the old cells and climb stairs up to the watchtowers. Or if you like, you can dive into the water from the higher floors. San Juan Parangari Cutiro Michoacan, Mexico. The tragedy that unfolded at this village is unthinkable. An entire city was swamped in hot molten lava and ash as the Paracutan volcano erupted again and again. All the village houses and bustling streets were lost under the black molten rock and ash. The only evidence of the city is the church tower that looms alone over the black blanket of volcanic rock that now remains. Tourists can enter the church ruins and can see the empty church with its altar still standing. Haludova Palace, Krk, Croatia. Since 1971, the Haludova Palace Hotel has changed hands and had several facelifts in its 50 year life. But today, the old dame lies abandoned. The only resident is Mother Nature taking back her territory. The hotel opened in 1971, a mid-century style jewel in the crown of the small island of Kirk in Croatia. Then, only a year on, Bob Guccione of Penthouse magazine fame expanded the property with an investment of $45 million. It was reopened as the Penthouse Adriatic Club Casino. The parties at this glamorous casino club were so luxurious that it was reported the swimming pool was filled with champagne, penthouse pets, served guests lobster, and endless cabinets. VR. 20 years on, the Yugoslav Wars began, which put a stop to tourism in Kruk, and the hotel, which had already been struggling, was closed in 1991. Since then, whatever hasn't been stolen has returned back to nature, and the ruins look like an overgrown mid-century version of the Inca ruins. Kupari, Croatia Bougainvillea and the Adriatic Sea are vying for dominion over what remains of the grand hotels of the Yugoslavian military resort in Croatia. The five hotels built in the 1960s were called the Grand, Kupari, Goricina, Goricini II and Pelegrin, and they hosted the military elite. They could accommodate 1,600 guests at a time. A nearby campsite could house 4,000 more people, so it was a popular seaside area to enjoy the crystal clear waters of the Adriatic Sea. Even the President Joseph Braz Tito holidayed at Kupari. As the popularity of the resort area grew to the general public, it was near impossible to get a booking, military or not, unless you knew someone who knew someone, if you know what I mean. However, the heyday came to an end when the Croatian War of Independence began in the 1990s. The Yugoslav army destroyed the Lux hotels, looting each building and burnt them floor by floor as they went. Now, the buildings are shells of their former glory and are crumbling into the clear ocean ocean water, while Bougainvillea creeps deeper into the cracks forming on the facades. The beaches in front of the hotel ruins greet a new generation of tourists returning to the beautiful Croatian area, but the ominous ruins remain as a reminder of the war that led to the freedom enjoyed today. Presidio Modelo, Cuba the Presidio Modelo, or Model Prison, was inspired by the Panoptican model and was commissioned by dictator Gerardo Mercado. It was purposefully an oppressive architecture that was designed to make people feel like they were constantly being monitored and every action visible. The building still carries the foreboding desperation and paranoia it imparted on its inmates at the time. Fidel Castro was once an inmate at the prison. However, when he was in power, he wasted no time imprisoning 6,000 enemies of the state to the same torture of being confined that he had surely experienced. The prison was finally closed in 1967 and has remained empty ever since. Now visitors are encouraged to experience the prison as a museum, memorializing the echoing corridors and vacant cells that still instill fear in anyone who enters. 
Ram Orphanage, Puyikada, Istanbul, Turkey. This incredible building is the largest historic timber building in Europe, measuring an impressive 215,000 square feet. The building has had a checkered past, starting off with grand visions of a luxury hotel and casino. However, it failed to be issued with the correct permits, so was sold and turned into an orphanage in the early 20th century. In 1964, it closed as an orphanage and has remained unoccupied since. However, since 2012, restoration has begun. The site is being renovated to serve as an environmental institute, breathing new life into old bones. Kennecott Alaska. When the copper resources became depleted in the copper mines, it was the death of the town of Kennecott. The town was all but abandoned by the 1930s. Only a family of three remained to watch over it. But in the 1950s, they finally gave up too and abandoned the town to nature. Since the 1980s, Kennecott has captured the imagination of tourists who found the abandoned town and mines eerie and fascinating to visit. In 1986, it was declared a National Historical Landmark. The National Park Service has since acquired the land with the Kennecott Mill Town. The abandoned town offers activities like ice climbing, glacier hiking, and touring the abandoned mill. There are some strenuous hikes to see the abandoned mines, including a scary scramble along the cliffs, overlooking the stairway icefall. St. Nicholas Church, Mavrova Lake, Macedonia St. Nicholas Church is somewhat of a magician in that it has done a disappearing act and more recently reappeared. In the mountains north of Macedonia lies the village of Mavrova. It is a skiing center by winter and a national park complete with a lake in summer. But in the 1850s, Mavrova suffered a tremendous flood. The newly complete St. Nicholas Church was completely submerged in the local lake that expanded its banks in the flood. The whole church Church disappeared. In the 21st century, drought in the area has made the church reappear. Now the ruins that were underwater for nearly 170 years lie exposed. It is fascinating to see what 170 years worth of water damage looks like and how much still remains intact. City Methodist Church, Gary, Indiana When the steel industry tanked in the 1970s, it hit Gary, Indiana, especially hard. Many beautiful and popular public buildings were abandoned. One of the largest casualties to the economic depression was the City Methodist Church. In 1926, the church was built for $1 million, a massive budget by 1926 standards, the equivalent of $7 million today. But in 1975, the parish was no longer able to keep its doors open, and the beautiful English Gothic style church sang its last hymn. Since then, the roof has caved in, letting the light and natural elements pour in. The church is a popular location for film shoots, having appeared in Pearl Harbor, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Transformers 3. Abandoned Malls, USA There is hardly a town that hasn't been affected by the move to online shopping, as they make more shops and malls obsolete. The rise of eerie malls has led to an entire community creating a new subculture of abandoned mall exploring. What remains of these recently packed out monuments to consumerism is decaying, as the natural elements find their way in. Caved-in ceilings, flooded parking lots, and stripped elevators all add to the adrenaline of walking through these abandoned retail meccas. Most have been stripped of anything of value, fixtures and fittings, metal and building materials. What will become of these massive buildings is anyone's guess. Some are being repurposed for housing already, but the vast majority remain ghost towns for local teens to play hooky in and urban explorers to wander around in the eerie aftermath of the retail boom. Rhyolite, Nevada Rhyolite must be the best example of easy come, easy go of all time. In 1904, the town sprang up when gold was discovered in the Bullfrog Mountains, west of Death Valley. In five years, the town grew by three train lanes, three newspapers, three swimming pools, three hospitals, two undertakers, an opera and symphony, and 53 saloons. And unique to the time, the buildings were built from permanent materials. But by 1914, only 10 years since the start of the town, Rhyolite was in decline. Five years on, it was a ghost town, and in 1924, the last resident of Rhyolite died. Since then, the town has stood abandoned, as it still does today. Have you ever been to any of these derelict and abandoned places? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. 
One, Rio's Olympic Village. After spending $4.6 billion to host the 2016 Summer Olympics and Paralympic Games, the dust has settled on all the excitement. And all the people of Brazil are left with are crumbling ruins. If you slip through the vandalized fences into any of the Olympic infrastructure, you are in for a surprise. Gone is the glory and magic felt during the two-week sporting spectacle. And what remains is an eerie ode to broken dreams. Ceilings have fallen in. Many of the fixtures of any value have been raided, graffiti adorns the walls, and abandoned and crumbling buildings are the new frontrunners of the day. There has been no upkeep, and even the main Olympic stadium, Maracana, is off-grid. Take a peek at the warm-up pool. It looks like it has contracted a serious illness that has turned it bright orange.